Hey guys, so in the last video I kind of invoked a few things that come from a Minecraft series. If you guys have any idea what that Minecraft series is, comment it in the description. But we finally figured out how to change the voice back. And that is by viewing something innovating. And things of the future. So let's see how this looks. And this is actually after getting the new vehicle. I've and I haven't showed it to you guys on YouTube yet. So early in the morning we were actually in Sacramento. Then we went down to Elk Grove where we were officially handed over the vehicle. And then this is hours later on the outskirts of Fresno. That that girder right there, that viaduct. That is for our future high-speed train system. This has been decades in the making, and this is proof. It is coming together very well. They started in Fresno, and initially it's going to go between Fresno, Bakersfield, and Merced, and then they're going to build an extension to San Jose and San Francisco. Now this is the part where the, where the viaduct will actually cross over Highway 99. So it's going to go right above it, and we're going to pass right underneath it, like right about now. You see all the scaffolding up. And hopefully soon, uh, they'll start laying the rails. Anyways, it's very interesting. It is coming together very well. Now this is just, just driving through the Central Valley, which is very self-explanatory, very flat, you can't see the mountains yet, as we get closer you'll probably see more, um, and yeah, this is some of the agricultural areas. Um, I'd say about half of the fruits and vegetables that we eat are pretty much from this area. The other area is the Imperial Valley and actually some tiny farmlands in San Diego County. So, there's that. It is the next morning now and we're just driving we just head out of California City, which is mostly a ghost town. A uh, little history for you. Some 50 years ago, um, a group of people decided they're going to make a planned city right here in the middle of the desert. And they kind of succeeded. People decided to get land. But then um, some of them were like, uh, I don't think they're going to move here. Um, and pretty much most of the land actually reverted back to developers and actually perhaps um, the government as well. And actually just driving through this area there are still some land for sale signs posted on the side of the highway. And there are some recent developments over here so... But yeah, most of it is still barren. Like, had it, had it been completed, it would have been an alternate to alleviate the Los Angeles metropolitan area to the, just to the southwest of this area. It's just the south, actually. Not southwest. Sorry about that. But anyways, let's give you a forward view. And this is probably going to be the last piece of information you're going to want to see about this. Because the next part, I believe, is um, headed eastward because we decided that, we're, that we headed through the Inland Empire, which is a part of the Southern California area that's actually east of Los Angeles. And there are a couple reasons behind it. First to um, avoid traffic because um, a lot of people hate traffic. It's a pain in the butt to get through. 
and we should be on the freeways about now. At Kramer Junction, we got onto um, an expressway, and then we got onto the actual Highway 395. It ends in Atalanto at the present time. It used to extend all the way to San Diego, but that part's a historic route, and much of it is pretty much part of present-day I-15. Continue so, on I-15 south for 15 miles. Okay, there goes the GPS. And this is Cajon Pass. It is very important that people understand this because, aside from its scenery, almost every single land-based traffic has to follow the pass to get through to Arizona, New Mexico, and actually... I have to include uh, Las Vegas on this list now, just because. Now aside from all the tractor trailer trucks that use this area, it should be worth noting that trains also use the pass. Now I don't see any tracks yet, so... Um. But anyways... At the bottom of the pass, we should be getting into San Bernardino. Now, I'm zooming in on those mountain peaks, and that's where Crestline and Lake Arrowhead are. I mean... Oh, there's the train tracks right there. <laughs> Just as I was about to give up on that. And, uh... Uh, tractor trailer truck just... Came there to block the view. They're also called semis. Because the Tesla semi is coming out, or Tesla Semi, like, how would you pronounce it, in this case? And anyways, we should be getting very close to Riverside in a, in a few moments in this video, because that's where we're going to enjoy, where we enjoyed lunch on this particular journey. We ate at a uh, new Plant Power. So, Plant Power is a brand new concept. It's like any other normal fast food drive through place, just that it's all vegan and plant based, which is amazing. Now, originally we were going to exit on a street called Mission Inn Avenue, but the road was closed, the ramp was closed that day. You can see the traffic comes the going on, and exit 64. So, you see the GPS is not aware of the closure, the sat-nav, I should closed. say. Then see, this is where I just realized oh, it, and we had to take the next exit after that. And here's a view of the downtown Riverside mini skyline with all the office buildings that I didn't realize were there the last time I was here. And this next one should be with, um, within Riverside. The beautiful, fascinating trees. Last time I was here was around, uh, I believe it was 2017? Uh, I think I said that right, 2017, so... Okay, Turn another up. talking, we're gonna go ahead and just, um, continue. Okay, um... And now we're on the final leg of the journey home. This is somewhere south of Paris. I mentioned that in the last video. And we're headed towards Temecula Valley. And I figured it out um, because um, so many moons, it's been so many moons ago, I think last time I played Minecraft was in like 2015 and I'm just rediscovering Minecraft on YouTube like five years later and I'm like uh is this even for real and so many new mods were introduced during my absence oh my anyways uh coming up next I think that's a medical center. This is just north of Murrieta. And I think that is a medical center. But there's another area that's like 
you kind of see this when you're going up on the freeway, but it's going to be hard seeing it going down. So, just a little heads up on that one. And uh, this, is, this is why I've been trying to zoom in onto what's on the other side of this um, median over here. Assuming that was, wasn't like a barrier or something. There it is. It should come up any minute. But that is uh, Transit Sales International. And it's basically a long row of retired transit buses that are repurposed for other uses. Uh, you won't, you didn't see much of the inventory, but anyways, this is the l very last video clip I took. There's a Nissan 3... No, 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 no. I took that back. That was a Toyota 86. Also called the Scion FRS. But we're leaving Temecula Valley, and the rest is history. We um, this is pretty much how we got home. <laughs> and I'm guessing we're at, I think we're, we should be back to normal, but, um, we'll find out within the next video or so. Um, actually, we're back to normal now. Um, if the mic is picking up anything else, it's because I have a, the binaural features activated and it should be picking up the fan, which should be heard more in the left ear. Um, and if you're feeling anything, that's the pop filter. Sorry, I have it too close. Sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and go to term of the week. Since we're talking about cars here, um, the term of the week's gonna be drop top. It's a slang term for any car with a, a rooftop that can be lowered or removed. It can either be moved manually or automatically, and usually a canvas with a plastic rear window. It's also known as a convertible. Alright, everybody, so, um... It's been a pleasure for me to present these videos. Again, it's just three parts. And so this is what ha happened last month. Uh, I held a naming contest on my Instagram page and I had two K-pop centric names. One of them was Taekar of Taehyung of TXT. And then I also did um, uh, N Neo Neocar for NCT. Um, NCT stands for Neo Culture Technology. Um, and Neo Car turned out to be the winner. I mean, I wanted to do something BTS centric, whatever, but um, the car has an i4 engine, but not a V6. So, um, like, that pretty much threw it out the window. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this, and um, I'm guessing we'll see you guys next week, and uh, let's go ahead and roll the outro.